we're going to do a little bit of plyometrics. Okay, so we're going to use the box to jump here. Box jump, single leg, leg, box jump, and single leg, that on box jump. Okay, so the first thing to do is. Okay, again, the, the, the height all depends on how good your player is, alright? So the thing you're looking for is when the ball jumps up, you want him to land softly onto the box. Okay, and we're just going to use this bench here. Okay, and basically the other thing is when he starts off, he'll be in a half spot, he must. That. <laughs> he must land the same way he started off. Okay, so if he lands down like this, that means the box is too high. Alright, he had to get back down to get onto it. Okay? Easier down there, is it? Okay, do you know what I like? 
They don't, they don't play tired doing this, so they get rest between each one. It's not like, as you said, when you're doing circuits, you see. Okay, more or less their knees are bending, but they're not jumping. All right, so make sure they're doing it, and they can step off, take a break, and go. That's more or less maximum, <laughs> maximal effort for a split second. Get the land and keep them having a break, taking a break, and going again. All right, just don't have them going right. Jumps. Okay, you'll see that one and so just take plenty of recovery. They're not working very hard, but for a split second they are because it's maximum muscle contraction. So you give them plenty of recovery. And what you can do as well is we were doing the strength overpowering strength conditioning court. This box was a bit higher and it's a bit higher. So it's going to be your phone. So you're recording me. Okay, so that's how I can see what you're doing. And if you can't see what you're doing, so you're recording me. And that's how I can see when he's going in the air, going in and out and down. Okay, so I have an instability problem I need to work on. So he's able to show me that. So you can do that with players record them and show them back. Okay, that's what you need to work on. After six weeks of doing this here, let's see if you've got the right to progress. Okay, so this is phase one. Phase two is when you want to sort of do jumps over things. But they have to get used to different form before they can jump over. Okay? Right, agility. Agility, move on. 